Hi everyone, welcome to Finance MD. My name is Sarayda Rosanes. I'm one of the Executive Vice Chairman of IMG, or International Marketing Group. By profession, I'm a medical doctor. So sa clinic, sa hospital, I do medical check-up. But as one of the financial educators of IMG, I do financial check-up. Together with my husband, Jason, we share the financial literacy advocacy of IMG. For this coaching session, I'm going to share to you the secret of saving and building your future book. Before we start, let me first introduce to you who IMG is. IMG, or International Marketing Group, is one of the biggest and fastest growing financial services companies in the Philippines today. Anything to do with money, healthcare, investment, life insurance, real estate, but IMG focus on financial education. What we do is we help people who want to help themselves achieve financial security through financial education and building a solid financial foundation. IMG do not believe in get-rich-quick scheme. We're teaching people, giving people valuable concepts that will help them achieve their financial freedom and also we have established partnership with the biggest companies in the financial industry our mission is to help create wealth for families no family left behind so for sure you're going to think the person who invited you or the person who shared you this link dahil gusto kanya talagang tulungan at gusto ka rin niyang matuto how to build a solid financial foundation our belief many people today are financially struggling due to lack of financial information kung minsan kung iisipin mo, masipag naman, nagtitipid naman, pero bakit meron pa rin financial problem? Meron pong kulang which is the financial education. Our vision is to have 10 million financially educated families by 2025. So congratulations, you are now part of our financial education movement. This book helped us in sharing the financial literacy concept. The book forward was by Xuan Wen, one of the executive vice chairman of WSP USA, and by Brother Bo Sanchez. According to Brother Bo, this book will upgrade your financial life, so the secret can now be yours. Let's talk about the realities written in the book. When it comes to securing and saving their future, many good people fail. Many hardworking, smart, young, old people fail. Many professionals like teachers, engineers, or even doctors like me end up retiring without enough savings. So, hindi po ibig sabihin, ikaw yung pinakamabait, ikaw na yung pinakamayaman. Ikaw na yung masipag or ikaw ay matalino, siguradong yayaman ka. Iba po yung financial education sa scholastic or academic education and sa professional education. Ano po yung kulang? Bakit nag-fail? So, these people don't set out to fail. They fail because... They lack financial education. Another reality, many people believe that financial education is only for the wealthy. So, sa kanya ako mag-aaral about financial management pag mayaman na ako. But dito ko po natutunan sa IMG, ano, hindi enough that you want to become wealthy. There are things you need to know and you need to do in order for you to achieve your financial goals. So, kailangan mag-aaral muna so you could become financially free. Many think that the only solution to financial challenges is to borrow money. Utang, ano, madali pong mangutang pero mahirap magbayad. Remember, kapag tayo ng utang, may kasama po itong interest. Another reality, many OFWs or overseas Filipino workers work hard for 20 to 30 years and still end up retiring poor. Bakit po nangyayari ito? So, hindi po ibig sabihin, pag lumaki yung kita mo, lalaki na rin ang savings mo. If ang dadalhin mo is yung iyong wrong financial practice from the Philippines, dadalhin mo sa abroad, parehas din po yun. Or minsan naman, nagtitipid yung OFW, nakakaipo naman. Yung mga relatives naman sa Philippines ang hindi natuturuan. So let's go now to chapter 1 of the book, Knowing the Basic Financial Concept. Financial independence is not only a dream, it should be a priority. Of course, it will start with a dream. Gusto natin maging maganda or maayos yung ating finances, but hindi pwedeng pangarap lang po yun. We have to work for it. So, we have to take control of your future by learning how to make money, save money, grow money, and protect your money. Sa apat po na ito, ano pa ang pinakamadali? Madali bang mag-make money? Actually, ano, kahit po mahirap magtrabaho, ito pa rin po yung pinakamadali sa apat. Because everyone has the opportunity to make money. Mahirap po mag-make money. Siyempre, kung ikaw yung nagtatrabaho, talagang nagsasakripisyo. Kung minsan, kahit may sakit, papasok. Mahirap po makipagsiksikan ano, sa MRT, sa LRT, mahaba yung pila. 
And of course, kahit na umuulan, kung minsan papasok tayo, may mga luma- naglalakad pa nga sa baha. Or, there are people na, katulad ng mga OFW, nagtitiis na malayo sa pamilya para kumita ng pera. So, it's really hard to make money. But, everybody has the opportunity to make money. Basta masipag ka, you have a job, you have a, you have a business, then definitely, you can make money. But not everyone who makes money can save. Ano po, ang kalaban natin dyan, yung sarili natin. Ito bang perang kinita ko, ay gagastasin ko o iipunin ko. And some people, hindi naman po nag-grow yung money nila. Bakit ganun? Kung ano lang yung dinideposto ko sa banko, yun lang ang laman, hindi halos na dadagdagan. So you should find the right vehicle that will help you grow your money. And you have to protect your money. Marami pong mga Filipinos na victimized ng mga scam and wrong investment because they don't know how to protect their hard-earned money. The question now is, meron po bang gagawa nito para sa'yo? Will someone make money and save money for you? Meron bang mag-grow and protect your money? Most probably po, wala. Ano? No one else will do this for you. Kaya ikaw dapat ang mag-take charge. How or paano mo gagawin? I'll be sharing to you very important financial concept para ikaw makapag-manage talaga ng pera mo. First is, I'm going to share to you how to build a strong financial foundation. Like building a house, kailangan matibay po yung pundasyon. Halimbawa, nagkaroon po ng, let's say, earthquake, bagyo, baha, masisira po agad yung bahay natin kung hindi matibay ang pundasyon. Ganoon din po sa finances natin. You must build a strong financial foundation para pag nagkaroon ng financial emergency or financial calamity, hindi naman masisira yung bahay natin. On top is our investment, like stock market, mutual funds. Those are example of investment. But make sure you have an emergency fund. Ang emergency fund po, ang purpose po ng emergency fund is to protect your investment. Let's say nagkaroon po ng emergency sa family, may nagkasakit. Kung wala po tayong emergency fund, what are you going to do? Chances are you're going to pull out your investment. So, hindi po mag-grow ang investment natin if we are going to put and take, put and take from our investment. So, ang sagot po doon is emergency fund. Next is to manage your debt. Debt is like a termite that's eating your financial house. Bakit po? Mas malaki po yung interest ng utang compared to your investment. And protection and healthcare are the real foundation in building wealth. When we say protection, this is about life insurance. Kung ikaw ay breadwinner, you should be properly and adequately insured so that when something will happen to you, meron kang maiiwan sa family. Healthcare is one of the most important financial products people need to own. They don't understand it unless mayroong nagkasakit sa pamilya or sila mismo yung nagkasakit. So you should consider protection and healthcare as a priority. Bakit po? Siyempre kahit meron kang konting ipon, pag ang breadwinner nag-pass away or ang breadwinner nagkasakit or na-disable, yung kaunti pong ipon baka kulang pa sa pagpapagamot. Getting a long-term healthcare and life insurance are the best investment. This will result sa mas matibay na financial foundation. Next is I'm going to share to you the X-curve concept. Ang X-curve concept po, this is our roadmap towards financial freedom. Kung titingnan po natin, there are two lines here. The line going up or the blue line is the law of building wealth. Dapat daw po, habang tumatagal tayo sa mundo, tumataas yung savings natin. And then the black line is the law of decreasing responsibility. Ibig sabihin po, habang tumatagal tayo sa mundo, bumababa yung responsibility natin. Ganito po ba ang picture ng X-curve nyo? O baliktad. Dok, napapansin ko habang tumatagal ako sa company na pinagtatrabahuhan ko, lumalaki yung utang ko at wala akong naiipon. So, usually when you are younger, you are generally less financially secure. Malaki ang responsibility mo, wala ang ipon. Ano po yung mga responsibility? Of course, whether you're single or married, lahat tayo may responsibility. If single kayo, yung responsibility mo ay yung sarili mo. Or sometimes, kahit single po tayo, tayo naman ang breadwinner. At mas malaki yung responsibility if you have your own family. Kailangan mong, um, kailangan mong paaralin, pakainin yung mga anak mo pag may magkasakit, kailangan ipagamot. So when you are younger, you work hard for the money. But as we grow older, target natin, magkaroon tayo ng big savings, wala na tayong financial responsibility. We should be financially secure. Bakit po natin kailangan i-accomplish yung X-curve natin? Two things can happen to a person. Una, what if I die too soon? Masyadong maaga kang kinuha ni Lord. Ano yung challenge or problem? Who will take care of your family? So, sino na yung sasagot or papalit dun sa mga responsibility mo sa iyong pamilya? Ang solution po doon is life insurance. 
On the other end naman, what if you live too long? Masyado namang mahaba ang buhay mo. Meron bang challenge kapag mahaba ang buhay ng isang tao? Of course. Ang tanong dyan, who's going to take care of you? Sino mag-aasikaso, mag-aalaga sa'yo? Ang solution po natin doon is investment and long-term care. So again, two things will happen. Either you die too soon or you live long. Both of which will put you and your family in a very challenging situation. If you die too soon, who's going to take care of your family? If you live long naman, sino ang mag-aalaga sa'yo? Solution is, if you die too soon, dapat meron kang insurance. If you live long naman, dapat meron kang investment and long-term care. So we have three major financial needs. Insurance, investment, and long-term care. Next is chapter 2. Choosing the right health care. So, kung tayo po'y magkakasakit, saan mo ba gustong ma-admit? Sa executive, sa payward, or sa charity? Saan ka ba mas mukhang gagaling? No? Feeling natin mas gagaling tayo dun sa executive. No? So, in the Philippines, bakit po walang tao sa executive or sa payward? Most probably, ano, not because walang doktor o walang gamot. Anong reason? Mahal po doon. Ano? So, nagsisiksikan sa charity. So, we're not looking down on anyone, but this, but this is the current healthcare situation in the Philippines. A lot of sick people die not because there's no medicine or there's no treatment available, but because they don't have money to pay for these costs. Kaya kailangan po natin mag-prepare ng ating long-term healthcare. And this is the final test for our good healthcare. The first is, does it have short-term and long-term healthcare? Ang ibig sabihin po noon is kapag nagkasakit ako, i-cover ba ako ng healthcare company ko? Long-term care naman is paano na pag ako ay senior citizen, will stay will they still cover me? Second question is does it have guaranteed renewal? Kapag ka lagi ko lagi ba ako nagkakasakit or lagi kong nagagamit yung health card, tatanggapin pa ba nila ako? Third is does it have guaranteed savings and investment? Paano naman kung healthy ako, hindi ko ginagagamit yung aking healthcare fund? Mawawala na ba yung perang binayad ko? And fourth is, does it have life insurance or protection? So if your healthcare provider answers these four questions, then you have a good healthcare provider. Next is understanding the purpose of insurance. So ang mga Filipino pagdating sa insurance, takot na takot, ano, takbo pa uwi. Why? Hindi po maiwasan na pag pinag-isapan ng insurance, we're going to talk about death, we're going to talk about disability, may maaaksidente or may magkakasakit. Ayaw po natin yon. While insurance is not a fun topic, it's a critical part of our financial strategy. Kapag tinanong mo ang isang tao, ano bang mags importante? Yung kotse, yung bahay o yung pamilya? Siyempre, sasabihin po niyan yung pamilya, no? pero pag tinanong mo kung insured yung kotse, anong sasabihin? Siyempre naman, ano, insured yung kotse. Kung 1 million ang bili mo dyan, dapat 1 million din ang coverage. Insured ba yung bahay? Of course, siyempre pinaghirapan natin yan ng mahabang panahon. Pero pag tinanong mo kung insured ba yung nakatira o yung nakasakay sa kotse, kadalasan, ang sagot ay kailangan pa ba yan? Often, the most important insurance that can protect our family and our children is the one not taken seriously. So in IMG, we're going to help you how to compute kung magkano ba talaga yung insurance na kailangan mo at kung ano ba yung insurance product na babagay sa iyo at sa pamilya mo. Next is managing debts effectively. Sino po dito yung walang utang or sabi nila no, abnormal daw ang Filipinong walang utang but it's Definitely not right. Bakit po natin kailangan i-manage ang ating debt or utang? Debt can turn into a disease. Ano, sakit mo na yung pangungutang. It could control your life, diminish your happiness, and limit your freedom. Hindi ka makalabas ng bahay, hindi ka makasagot ng telepono. Pag may naghanap sa'yo, sasabihin, no, sabihin mo wala ako. Bakit? Kasi nagtatago ka na sa iyong mga utang. You can never be truly free until you are debt-free. So sa IMG, we're going to teach you the strategy on how to eliminate debt. Hindi po kami nagpapautang, but we're going to help you how to get out of the debt trap. Chapter 5 is building an emergency fund. So no matter how much you plan in life, the unexpected things still happen. Ano po yung mga emergency? Halimbawa, nawala ng trabaho, nalugi yung negosyo, may nagkasakit sa pamilya, nagkaroon ng mga, nagkaroon po ng calamities, no? like typhoon or earthquake. So, saan po tayo kukuha ng pera? Dapat meron po tayong nakaset aside at least 3 to 6 months of your total expenses. Example, you're earning 20,000, at least 60 to 120,000 ang nakatabi as our 
emergency fund. Kung wala po tayong emergency fund, ang mangyayari po niyan, you're going to pull out your investment or worse, uutang tayo para meron po tayong gagastusin. So make sure you create an emergency fund. Chapter 6 is saving the right way. I've been working hard all my life, but I wasn't able to save anything. Where did my money go? Saan ba napunta ang pera ko? Alam niyo po yung pera, wala naman yan sariling paa. So, hindi po yan lalabas sa wallet niyo. Hindi yan tataka sa ATM mo. So, kung walang laman yung wallet natin, walang laman yung ATM natin, ano yung dahilan? Tayo po ang may pagkukulang. Most of us were not able to save because we are using the wrong saving formula. Income minus expense, pag may natira, magsisave ako. Pag may natira. So, kadalasan po, kapag ganito ang formula, talagang walang matitira kasi habang may hawak ang pera, kailangan meron kang paggagastusan. Do you track your expenses or nagulat ka na lang ng ubos na yon? So, halimbawa, sumuelto ko ngayon, saan mo ba siya dadalhin? Nagbabayad tayo, siyempre, utilities, nag-grocery tayo, kain sa labas. Actually, kung isusulat natin lahat ng mga pinagkakagastusin natin, baka kulang yung oras natin sa dami. Ano? Pero how about this one? How much did you pay for this one? Siya po yung nagtrabaho, nagsakripisyo, magkano yung binayad mo sa kanya. So, the correct saving formula is income minus savings is equal to expenses. So, you have to pay yourself first. Clear naman po sa atin yung pay yourself first. Ano? Ako po, practice ko naman yung pay yourself first. Ano? Kaya lang before IMG, mali kung paano ko siya pinapractice. Kasi sabi, pay yourself first. So, ang alam ko, bayaran ko yung sarili ko kasi ako yung nagtrabaho, ako yung nagsakripisyo. So, I will reward myself. So, after ng duty ko, let's say 24-48 hours, ano po yung gagawin ko? Punta ako sa mall. Siyempre, kain ako ng masarap. Uh, bila ko na sapatos, damit, bag, and then puta ako sa salon. Then the next day, no? or pag uwi ko ng bahay, wala na akong pera. So next day, trabaho naman, na naman uli. So ang tagal nang nagtatrabaho, bakit walang naiipon? Doon ko na-realize, mali pala yung application ko ng pay yourself first. So ang ibig sabihin po pala is pay yourself with savings and not pay yourself with material things. I learned that, Financial prosperity formula. In 100% yung income natin, less 10% tithes, give back to the Lord, sa kanya naman galing yung blessings. 20% your savings, and then manage yourself sa 70%. E eh, paano yan, Dok? Pag sinave ko yung 20%, di na ako kakain. Well, kapag ka po tayo ay hindi sanay mag-save, na pag tayo'y nagtabi ng konti, feeling natin talaga na-deprive na tayo o nababawasan yung panggastos natin. Ang saving po, habit din yan. So, kung hindi tayo saray mag-save, ang importante, um, you should start at your comfortable level. Eh. For example, this payday, ang kaya mo lang 100, then next payday, 200, 300, until you reach your 20%. So, let's check how are you doing so far. For example, you work for 10 years with the average annual income of 300,000. So, do you realize you've already earned 3 million? What if you work for more than 10 years and you have an average income more than 300,000? Then you have earned a lot of money already. But the question is, how much did you save? Parati pong question mark yan, ano? So, it's not what you earn that counts, it's what you keep. So, 15 years ko po sa IMG, wala pa po akong nakakausap na nagsabi sa akin na ang ganda ng kumpanyang pinagtatrabahuhan niya, sobra-sobra yung bayad sa akin. Lagi pong sinasabi, it's either sakto lang or kulang. And hindi po siya nagmamatter, ano? Minsan may mga sumasweldo ng maliit or yung iba sobrang laki. Ang sasabihin pa rin kulang. Let's say may mga tao na yung sahod nila, mga 20,000, sasabihin sa akin, hindi makaipon kasi kulang. There are people earning 50 to 60,000, hindi pa rin makaipon, kulang pa rin. And I've talked to a master mariner, yung sahod niya is 11,000 US dollars. So more than half million a month, anong sabi niya sa akin, hindi siya makaipon kasi kulang. So kung ikaw yon, kung ganun kalaki yung sweldo ko, malaki na siguro yung ipon ko. So hindi po yun, ano. Kung ano po yung gagawin mo sa isang libo mo, yun din ang gagawin mo sa 100,000 mo. So it's really not what you earn that counts, it's what you keep. So, saan ko naman iipunin or itatabi yung pera ko? So, you should know the rule of 72. The rule of 72 or the power of compound interest will help you to determine kailan ba dodoble ang pera mo. The formula is 72 divided by the interest rate that will give you the number of years for your money to double. 
Ulitin po natin, 72 divided by the interest rate that will give you the number of years for your money to double. For example, you open a regular savings account, let's say 10,000 pesos. Nilagay mo siya sa 1%. Kailan siya do double o magiging 20,000? If we are going to apply the rule of 72, 72 divided by 1% is equal to 72 years. So let's say, for example, 30 years old ka ngayon, pagdating mo ng 102, Ayan, yahoo, yeh, hey, meron ka ng 20,000. Sobrang tagal, ano po. More of rule of 72, if you put your money at 4%, it will double every 18 years. So, kung 29 years old, may 100,000, every 18 years, like the double. When you reach 65, that's already 400,000. Question, if you are 65 years old with 400,000, can you retire? 65 years old, most probably retired ka na, but with 400,000, it may not be enough. What if you put your money at 12%? If you put your money at 12%, it will double every 6 years. So kung 29 years old, may 100,000, every 6 years, dumadoble yung pera. Pagdating mo ng 65, 6.4 million. So do you see the difference? Pareho silang 29 years old, parehong may 100,000. Pero bakit pagdating ng 65 years old, yung isa 400,000 lang, while the other one is 6.4 million? Ano yung difference? It's the interest rate. So, this is the secret of the wealthy people. It doesn't mean mas malaki yung perang nilagay nila. It only, it only means they know where to place their money. People who don't understand how money works, they end up working for money for the rest of their lives. But be very careful. Ganito din po yung mga strategy ng scammer. Lagay mo yung pera mo dito, after 21 days, doble na. So, it's not, ano, sa rule of 72, alam po natin na, uh, alam po natin na, taon ang kailangan para mag-grow yung money natin. So, kailangan pag-aralan at inindihin muna bago natin i-invest yung hard-earned money. Chapter 7 is growing wealth through investment. We are encouraging people to build long-term investment. Let's say, ikaw ito, you put your money in a bank. They call you depositor. Saan ba nag invest yung banko? Hindi naman po matutulog yung money natin sa vault. Ano po? They're, going to put, they're going to put your money in government securities. Ito yung mga treasury bills, treasury notes, commercial papers, tax and equities, yung tinatawag natin na stock market. Retail loans, pinaka-popular po dito yung credit card and real estate. Out of this investment, let's say the bank earns 12%, syempre ang ibibigay sa atin kung magkano yung ating agreed rate or interest. There's nothing wrong with that. Ano, bank is a money store, them, they are going to buy your money at a certain interest rate. And then, syempre, sila yung nagtitake ng risk, sila yung nag -re reinvest they will take profit from it. So, we are advocating mutual fund. Mutual fund, um, mutual fund is one of the investment vehicles we are endorsing. Sa mutual fund po, we are shareholder. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng shareholder? You are part owner of the mutual funds. You are part owner. Saan po ba nag invest ang mutual funds? Sa government securities din po, commercial papers, tax and equities. Bawal po sila sa retail loan kasi highly liquid po yung pera sa mutual fund. Pwede mo siyang kunin anytime. So kung nakalong po yan or pinautang natin yan, kahit po may contract yan, hindi pa rin may iwasan. Kapag pinautang mo yung pera, may magda-default. Bawal din po sa real estate because yung real estate po, mahirap mag-liquidate kung kakailanganin mo yung pera. Out of this investment, let's say the mutual fund company earns 12%, magkano po ibabalik sa atin? 12% din po because we are a shareholder. So, naglagay ako ng 1,000, 12% of my 1,000. Naglagay ako ng 10,000, 12% of my 10,000. Somebody put 1 million, 12% of his... 1 million. The question now is, do you know how mutual fund works? Ang market po, iba-iba po yung scenario. Sa scenario 1, pataas. Scenario 2, bumaba, pero nakarecover naman. Scenario 3, pagbagsak niya, hindi pa siya nakakarecover. Nakakatakot, diba? Gusto natin ilagay natin yung pera natin, dun lang sa scenario 1 para siguradong kikita. But you know, the market will go up and down. Wala pong nakakahula kung kailan tataas or kailan bababayan. But the most important thing is whether the market is up or down, if you know what to do, if you know your strategy, then definitely you will win. So sa IMG, we're going to help you how to invest in mutual funds. This is one of our examples, Phil Equity Fund. Phil Equity Fund started in 1995 with a little over 1 peso per share. Kung makikita niyo po yung blue line, ano po, um... Taas baba, nagpa-fluctuate, pero hindi na po siya babalik sa 1 peso. Pataas pa rin po. And as of July 2019, nasa 39.9 
per share po yung mutual fund. So, ang ibig sabihin po nito, kung nag-invest ka ng 5,000 noong 1995 without even adding any single peso, ang value ng pera mo ngayon is 179,882. So, in IMG, we're going to help you how to invest in mutual funds. And of course, we're going to teach you so you could have the confidence naman in investing. Chapter 8 is Understanding Retirement and Estate Planning. Sino po yung gusto mag-retire ngayon din? Marami, ano, pagod na pagod na tayo sa katatrabaho. Pero bakit hindi tayo makapag-retire? Kailangan natin ng fund. So in IMG, we're going to help you how to prepare for your retirement fund and also how to do the estate planning. You have to preserve your estate. Do you know that without proper planning, your asset and family may not be protected? Who gets your home? Who inherits your bank accounts? Meron pong mga magkakapatid, magkakamag-anak, nag-aaway-aaway sa kaperasong lupa. Or minsan naman, kahit nagtutulungan sila, they don't have funds to pay the estate tax. So nawawala din po kung ano yung pinaghirapan ng pamilya. So in IMG, we're going to help you how to protect your future. So I do hope you've learned something from my sharing. Now, I'm going to share to you naman, ano ba yung benefits of being an IMG member? Kasi lahat po ng pinag-usapan natin, stock market, mutual fund, insurance, healthcare, nasa internet po yan lahat. Ano naman yung advantage or difference or paano po kayo matutulungan ng IMG? Ang IMG po ay sinang membership benefit platform. Parang Costco sa US or dito sa atin, SNR, Landers, nagme-member po tayo so we can have discounts. Nag, um, ganun din po yung SM Advantage or Suki Card sa Mercury. Every time we purchase, nagkakaroon tayo ng points at yung points natin na yun, pwede natin i-exchange sa items or pwede rin pong discount. Ganon din po sa IMG. Kapag ka po tayo ay nag-member sa IMG, meron din po tayo mga perks, benefits, and discounts, but nakafocus po ang IMG sa mga financial products and services. So with IMG, so I'm going to discuss to you some of the benefits of IMG. First is the financial education. We give free seminars para ma-equip po kayo when it comes to savings and investing. We also give free financial checkup. Parang tao din po yan, ano? ginagawa natin yung medical checkup to make sure that we are really healthy. Ganon din po sa finances natin. Kailangan malusog din yung ating bulsa kasi baka mamaya may cancer na. And IMG, aside from the financial checkup, we also give recommendations to treat your financial problems. We will also receive gifts if you are, if you will sign up for the membership. Una, meron po tayong personal accident insurance ranging from 100,000 to 300,000. Meron din po tayong fidelity memorial benefit amounting to 50,000 pesos. Kapag IMG member po tayo, naaalagaan din po yung health natin. Una, meron po tayong free eye checkup and free frames from Vision Care. Next is meron din po tayong free unlimited consultations sa Kaiser Clinic, and discounts on the laboratory procedures. If you're an IMG member, you have access to Kaiser Health Products and Services. Meron pong short-term, long-term, and senior care. When you say short-term, these are the yearly renewable. While senior care naman, ito yung health care from age 61 up to age 100. And the, the long-term care naman po, ito yung lifetime health care benefit. So I won't be discussing the details about Kaiser. Meron po tayong separate video for this. But for now, I just want you to know that this Kaiser Ultimate Healthcare Builder is 3-in-1. Healthcare investment and insurance. Just in case magpass away too soon, meron pong insurance na may sa family. If you live long naman, meron kang investment and long-term health care. Kaiser has short-term and long-term health care coverage. It, is, uh, it has guaranteed renewal. And also, kung hindi mo nagagamit yung health care fund mo, naka-invest naka din po siya so nag-earn siya ng interest. And also, kapag nag-start po tayo sa Kaiser, tatlo na po yung nasa-solve natin sa ating financial foundation. Meron na po itong health care, meron pong life insurance, and investment. Next is access to multiple options super term 18 by Manila Bankers. Sino po yung may insurance na dito? Most 18 is the most affordable 18-year term insurance with PDF or premium deposit fund. Tingnan po natin, if you are 30 years old with only 5,710, you are already covered with 1 million. 
Next is IMG gives free investment seminars and also exclusive for IMG members, zero load po tayo sa mutual fund. Ano pang ibig sabihin nun? Normally, kapag mag invest po tayo sa mutual fund, may loading fee po ranging from 1 to 3.5%. Ibig sabihin po nun, pag mag invest ako ng 10,000, tatanggalin po nila yung 350 pesos, that is my entry fee. So, ang money na may invest is 9650 But if you're an IMG member, zero po yung entry fee. So, meaning, kapag nag-invest ka ng 10000 invested po lahat yung 10,000 pesos. If you're an IMG member, automatic po, meron ka na pong 1,000 peso investment in Saldivo Mutual Funds. We also have access to online trading. Just in case you want to trade directly in stock market, my trade po yung provider namin doon. Uh, we also give discount to ozone therapy. That's the latest in anti-aging technique. Number 14 is the IMG Dominate tool. This is the digital marketing tool of IMG. So in IMG, you could do your business online. Next are the discounts. An IMG member can enjoy discounts for the non-life products, let's say car insurance, travel insurance, and business insurance. Very cost-effective, ano? nakakatipid po tayo. Also, IMG members can also enjoy discounts from real estate purchases like SMDC, Ayala, DMCI, and Vistaland. Meron din po tayong services. First is the Everest Memorial Services. So meron po tayong funeral planning services. Tatawagan lang po yung Everest and then they will send their their funeral planner. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng funeral planner? Parang pag may kinakas, ikakasal lang po, may wedding planner. Siya yung nagko-coordinate lahat, di ba? Sa ikakasal, yung venue, catering, and everything. Ganon din po yung funeral planner. Siya din po yung magko-coordinate lahat. Anong gustong casket, saan ibuburol, saan ililibing. So yung wedding planner, babayaran natin yung services nila. Pero dito po sa IMG, free po yung service ng funeral planner. We also have access to IMAX, that's our provider for asset preservation services. IMG also have an auto program. If you want to buy a car, any brand, any model, dito sa Pilipinas, you could use the free discount of IMG, so malaki pong savings. Next is the entrepreneurship benefit. So this is one of my favorite benefits in IMG. You could have a business in the financial industry. You could be a financial educator like me. You could build your business worldwide. Ano? Basta po naaabot talaga ng internet, kayang-kaya yan. You could earn additional income depending on, of course, your activities. No quota or no selling. So in IMG, what we do is we just teach people how to save and how to invest. You could start part-time while keeping the security of your existing job and business. Next is rewards. Una po yung travel rewards. IMG gives free travel to qualified IMG members. Pwede po yan sa Pilipinas or abroad. Yung next travel po natin, for this year, we're going to travel to London. So these are some of my travel, some of um, my travel pictures. So that's Bangkok, Japan, Great Wall of China, di ba? Um, usually, nababasa lang natin ito sa history book, pero pwede pala talagang puntahan yan. Okay, this is our counterparts in Brunei Darussalam. Marami po tayong mga financial literacy advocate, advocates din po abroad. And this one is in South Korea. Okay, dito naman po sa Malaysia, Vietnam. We travel with our family, that's Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore. This is our cruise. And we also visited um, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And ito naman po is sa US, ba? So, nung araw, hindi ko iniisip na pupunta ako sa US. Una, mahirap ko muna ng visa, magastos, ano? But with ING, we were given the opportunity to travel. Okay, so that's Las Vegas. So, uh, this picture was taken during our convention um, in USA. Marami din po tayong mga financial literacy advocates in US. So, kahit pala nasa ang bansa ka, pare-pareho din po yan. Ano, may mga financial challenges, meron din po mga financial problems. So, with IMG, we are always here to help and guide you. So, last year, we visited Malaysia, Macau, and of course, the Philippines. For this year, dito, lang po mu dito muna po tayo sa Pilipinas. So, our convention will be on June 20 and 21. I do hope you could take part sa ating convention. Part of rewards, IMG also gives rings, pins, watches, and car. And also, um, and also short-term healthcare for the qualified IMG members. So once you become an IMG member, you will be given your own portal. So I'm going to teach you how to navigate to your portal once you become a member. 
So IMG is a one-stop shop. You could become a, if once you become a member, you could have direct access to different investment companies. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? You could become your own money manager. It's really hard to know. Ano ba talaga yung best financial product for you and your family? Kung taga real estate ang kausap mo, syempre sasabihin niya real estate is the best investment for you. Kung taga mutual fund yan, sasabihin niya din mutual fund is the best investment. But how would you know if it is really the best investment for you and your family? Become your own money manager. So with IMG, you have access to healthcare, to life insurance. You can do IMG business and be with the right environment to help you pay off your debt. You could create emergency fund and also you could start investment. So may access tayo for Kaiser. You could put your investment to Kaiser Most 18 and also to the different mutual fund companies. And ang pinaka-importante po sa, ka- sa financial foundation is to increase your cash flow to fund all of your goals. And we could help you increase your cash flow by learning, by doing IMG business and being with the right environment. Okay? So build your financial foundation faster. Action steps. First thing that you need to do is do have a schedule with a person who invited you or shared you this link so you will know your current financial status. Become a lifetime member of IMG with all the discounts and benefits that you're going to enjoy. The lifetime membership of IMG is only 5500 For who are abroad, kindly check the rates depending on the country where you at. Number three is build a solid financial foundation. Start building with start investing in your long term long term healthcare first protect your family through mo, to most 18 and start investing in mutual funds so the next step is to take action now you have to secure your future you will always have an excuse not to save or invest diba sa kana pag nakaluwag na but no matter what your excuse is your child will grow up and enter college and you will need money for his or her own education no matter what your excuse is, you will eventually retire and stop making active income. So you have to be prepared for this kind of situation. You have to control your future by becoming your own money manager, by understanding how money works and how to make money work for you. Sabi nga ni Bill Gates, if you are born poor, it's not your mistake. Hindi naman tayo makakapili. Eh, no? Wish mo lang sana no, nung pinanganak ka, mayaman ka na. But not everybody has that opportunity. Pero sabi din ni Bill Gates, if you die poor, it's your mistake. Kaya pag dumating yung opportunity, kailangan gamitin natin ng tama. For your next step, attend the Jumpstart class. Meron din po tayong mga, um, meron din po tayong mga workshop. May mga Wealth Academy series and partners training. Again, that will help you be equipped when it comes to saving and investing. Make sure you will become part of our financial education movement. Register with the person who invited you. Once again, I'm Sarayda Rosanes. And I am your finance MD. Thank you.